When Idea Space declared this year's competition open to entries, it also announced a new equity-free funding structure. Why the sudden change? Diane Eustachio, Executive Director, Idea Space Foundation, is here to answer that question. Hi, Diane. So, on your fourth year, now it's a new business model going for equity-free funding structure. Tell us about that. Yes, um, we've shifted to equity-free funding because we've learned that it's more beneficial to the entrepreneurs. You see, we, we support startups at the very early stage, at the idea stage, from idea to prototype. So they still have a long journey and so they should have as much shares in their, in their hands so that they can uh, continue to get the several rounds of funding until they probably reach the venture capital level. Maybe what triggered this change? Was it something that the startups asked for or was it more like um, from idea space itself? Yes, it was the clamor of the startups mm -hmm. as we, we learned, we, you know, you learn by doing because idea space is a startup itself. Right. So we learned that the startups, uh, when they approach angel investors, the angel investors preferred to uh, that the startups would have more shares in their hands because as they they probably go through two or three more rounds of angel funding before they reach uh, more significant uh, funding from venture capital. So what will happen to those startups that you've funded for the past three years, which were on with which on which you have twenty percent equity? Yes, yeah. Well, we're divesting from them. Yeah. Oh, so you'll be slowly also releasing your shares from yes, that company. Yes, yes. Okay, now, um, with your founder and uh, president, Earl Valencia, he's leaving. And yes. how will that cause, how will that affect the space? I mean, he's been the one who's been at the heart of all this and been specifically <laughs> appointed to, to bring forth idea space. Yes, yes. Uh, unfortunately, Earl left. But then, you know, the heart of all of this are the entrepreneurs. A thriving ecosystem is really driven by entrepreneurs. Idea space is really just a feeder. So um, we've, we've had three batches already, and the community is growing. Apart from idea space, there are other players also who are contributing to the ecosystem. So we think that with more entrepreneurs helping other entrepreneurs, we have really a good sign of a thriving uh, tech ecosystem. So you don't expect any big shift right now. Is there already someone lined up to succeed him? No, no, I not yet. yet. <laughs> okay, now you've opened the you've opened the competition again for yes. 2016, and the entries um, are starting to come in until it closes in March now. What's the speci what what specific criteria are you looking for for the candidates for this year? Well, good ideas is one, and but the bigger portion would be stronger teams. We are looking for teams that have really um, complementary skills and complementary personalities. So uh, we've learned that teams that have worked together in the past with on previous projects or previous startups make better founders. How have how has the track record been for the past? startups that you funded? I mean, is there a percentage that have succeeded, are now operational, or are there also some that need more work? Um, I think our vetting average is pretty good on the first year, because every year we take 10 into yes. the program. So on the first year, we have about six out of 10 who are still alive up to now and still struggling though. Um, on the second year, we have 10 out of 10. All of them are still thriving and um, Pretty some of them pretty successful already. And then on the third batch, I see about nine out of 10. Are, but the third batch is pretty recent. They just finished the program in 2015. All right, so how many entries are you expecting for this year? I hope a lot, yeah. Uh, the first year we got up over 600, and then another, the second year about 630, and then last year we got over 1,000. So it's all right, whether it's 600 or 1,000, we're really looking for quality ideas. And it's so getting really that top 10 tech-savvy entrepreneurs. Thank yes. you very much, Leanne, for Thank being you. with us. Thank you.